Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be going over the top three refrigerant leak detection methods. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe and let's get straight into it. As an HVAC professional, it is your responsibility to find and repair refrigerant leaks as a holder of the EPA Section 608 Universal License. Today, we will go over the top three refrigerant leak detection methods used in the air conditioning and refrigeration industry. The three methods are the bubble leak detector solution, also known as the soap and bubble method, the electronic refrigerant leak detection method, and the ultraviolet slash fluorescent dye method. The bubble leak detector solution, also known as the soap and bubble method, is the most common method used and possibly the most trusted. The idea here is that you apply soapy water or a leak detection spray on refrigerant piping on areas such as joints, threaded connections, and valves. Bubbles will appear at the location of the leak. Although common and trusted, it can be difficult to pinpoint small leaks or leaks in locations such as evaporator or condenser coils. The soap and bubble method is commonly used in combination with another leak detection method, which brings us to number two on our list, the electronic refrigerant leak detection method. The electronic refrigerant leak detection method is the most precise and efficient method to pinpoint a refrigerant leak. There are a few different methods of technologies in this category, which include corona suppression, heated diode, infrared, and ultrasonic. In all, the device will be pointed at a potential leak, and if refrigerant is present, this will trigger an audible alarm to identify the leak. Technicians typically use the electronic method and once a leak is identified, they would use the soap and bubble method on top to confirm by not only hearing the leak, but by seeing it as well. Number three on our list is the ultraviolet fluorescent dye method. A fluorescent dye is injected into the system along with the refrigerant. The idea here is that the dye will escape at the location of the leak and using a UV lamp, the leak will be identified. Personally, my preferred methods are the electronic leak detection along with the soap and bubbles. With these two, you really can't go wrong. All in all, it's important that you have the right instrumentation to perform your refrigerant leak detection. Once the leaks have been repaired, it's important to make sure you pull a proper vacuum and use a micron gauge to confirm all of the moisture has been removed from the system, along with ensuring there are no refrigerant leaks. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Yeah.